In the fight against Ebola, the world's largest pharmaceutical companies have been absent without leave. With the vast majority of Africans infected with Ebola, there are few effective treatments. A small number of U.S., European, and African doctors or medical workers have been treated with an untested serum called ZMAP. The ZMAP serum is produced by a small California company in very limited quantities. The company says all the serum it had has now been sent to Africa free of charge. Al Jazeera asked the Pharmaceutical Industries Trade Association here in Washington whether any major companies were working on Ebola. The answer, no. Dr. Richard Boudreau is a bioethicist. It hasn't gained real popularity with respect to um, R&D in the pharmaceutical trade, if you will, big pharma. Africans and their leaders are asking why there is so little research into such a deadly disease. Oui, je pense que... Yes, I do think that the response of the international community has been fairly weak so far. The world's four biggest drug companies, Johnson & Johnson, Novartis, Roche, and Pfizer, had combined revenues of $233 billion last year. But research on a disease that afflicts a relatively small number of people in some of the world's poorest countries isn't a good business proposition. The commercial incentives to develop uh, vaccines for this and to create the science for a cure and to develop uh, effective treatments, the incentives are not very strong there. There is some hope. Scientists at the U.S. National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Disease, a taxpayer-funded agency, are working hard to crack Ebola's secrets. There is a vaccine that's promising that the announcement was made last week that it was going to be fast-tracked and it will go into human trials in September. And if those human trials are um, are, are, are uh, successful, it could become available for use in 2015. Now, if that is true, that's very good news. Good news for future victims, but too late for those who are dying now. Rob Reynolds, Al Jazeera, Washington.